this is how you go ahead and get Unreal Multi-User working. First, you have to make sure you pick the version of Unreal that everyone else will be using, as the server will only show up for clients using the same Unreal version as the server. So in this case, it will be 5.2.1. Is it picking up audio? Yep, it is. Now, while we wait for Unreal to boot, boot. In this case, I'm going to be choosing third person, but I do not think it matters which one you pick. It does not matter what you name this, but for future. Uses, I will be naming this one server setup and create it. You need a project to be able to host the server. You need to at least have a project open. From there, you need to go to Edit, Plugins, type in User. Typing in Multi does not bring it up for some reason. Click to turn it on, hit Yes, and you'll have to restart Unreal, which will take a second. You'll also be doing essentially the same process for joining a server. Just that you would go ahead and open up a project that you're already using. Then go to Edit, Project Settings. Where did it go? There it is. Scroll on down to Plugins and go to Multi-User Editing. Go ahead and click this button, Enable Multi-User Toolbar button. This will let you pretty much open up the plugin. This will require you to restart. If you are go ahead, if you are activating the plugin as a client and not for setting up a server, you can go ahead and set display name and avatar color right now before you restart for when you go ahead and join the server. But since this is this computer will be used for the server, we'll be restarting now. Now that's restarted, and you'll notice that there's a new button up here. We're going to move this out the way, and you too. And we'll be opening this one. Now, we'll hit launch a server, since we're the only server up right now, and this will be the computer used for it. We'll hit launch a server. If this pops up, I... One second. and give it access so that it can properly go ahead and talk to the rest of the computers here. And from here we now have the server. From there, if you want someone to join, it'll be roughly the same process. But they'll see this screen instead, since the server is up. They'll be able to create sessions. They'll all be hosted from your computer that you set up the server from. So it should be this one. It will not save my computers on their end since, well, it's not their computer that's hosting it, but from there to help create a session, Shin, any clients who have this open are able to just name it. Shin. 
Add a session name. This will be the project, the project name. Every person joining a session must have a project with the same name, otherwise it will go ahead and spit out an error, so it must be the same project name. If it's not the same project name, the clients cannot connect to each other, but they can all see the screen. Once you hit yes, this will pop up on the user's end showing that this is working. We're going to move this here. And I think, no, I can't pull it up. But if I pull up the server, on the client's end and on the server's end, it'll go ahead and show this, where a client will be able to click on it. And for the client, there'll be a little join button, or I'm pretty sure you can just double click it to go ahead and join the test server. But of course, this is the server panel. And we have this.